Hello everyone, it's Suzanne here and today I'm going to share with you um, my first designs team project with the June kit from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. So this month the theme is how does your garden grow and my first project I decided to make three cards. So let's get into that. So the first card I made is a shaker card. I hope you can all see that. So I love making shaker cards. So on the back it is a card. I haven't done a, anything on the inside. But to make this card, um, it's quite easy. It's a bit labour intensive, but it's not difficult. So I used two of these dies to make a frame. So I used the biggest two. And I just taped them together so that they stay the same width apart. And I cut it out quite a few times. You might be able to see that here how thick it is. I cut it out quite a few times to give it a nice thickness so that you're able to add lots inside it. So inside I've added quite a few things. I used some of my other dies. I die cut a little bike which is leaning up against the little birdhouse and I use this little birdie on a branch and the little flower pot down here and then I just added lots of sequins. Now to add this window I just cut a piece of thick acetate and I use two of the frames cut with these and I use glossy accents to and sandwich it between two of these frame pieces and then glue that on top before adding I mean after adding all the sequins then I used one of these really cute paper dolls from the Julie Nutting paper doll pack. I really love this one. She's so cute. Um, and you can see in the background I've used some of the Julie Nutting paper. So this probably more appropriate for a younger person you know, maybe 10 to 12 or even younger I suppose so that's the first one and because it is so thick I've made a box for it to go in so an envelope box I use my envelope punch board and I will show you in another video how to do that and I've used this beautiful rose stencil that was in the June kit and just used some texture paste. And I just used one of the corners, this corner here, and I just moved it around and did that and used one of the cutter parts for a sentiment. Oh, I also used one of them here inside that says sweet. Okay, so that's the first card. The next one is here. So I used one of the cutter parts, layered it up on some more of the paper, some pink paper 
Then I used some of the lace, the Kaiser Craft lace from the June kit. Really love that. It's so nice. Again, that same paper that I used for in the first card. You can see it in the background. I've used the same paper. And I've cut out a lattice piece, this Kaiser Craft die. So I've cut that out and then I've cut out a few leaves and a bit of greenery. And then used some of the some little flowers I've had in my stash for quite a while. And the colours just matched really nicely with the flowers in the background, so I was really happy to find those. So I've layered the Julie Nutting paper on just a piece of white cardstock and then on a purple card base. So that one's really nice and simple. And again, because it's a bit thick, I've made another box to put it in. I've used one of the cutter parts and laid that up on this second largest die here. I, I love this one. It's so pretty. I just cut that out of the same floral paper and added that to the front of the box. So that's two cards. And the third card is using my favourite thing from the June kit and that is this lovely penny black stamp it's she's so cute I just love that stamp so I used uh, some watercolor paper and I used my Dermot watercolor pencils for the first time my beautiful son bought me these for Mother's Day and I've colored it so the whole piece I've colored so in the background I hope you can see I've used blue for the sky and some green and tried to blend them as best I can so I'm only new at using watercolor pencils um, I used this little banner piece from these Julie Nutting paper dolls from out of the kit and some more lace from the Kaiser Craft oh, here's the leftovers from the kit and I've just used it on two sides added a pink resin kind of heart and I've laid that on a pink card base so really really simple but I think it's quite pretty um, these pieces I've cut out using mm, some Kaiser craft the top one is a stitched square and the bottom one is just a square I think I, yes here they are here's the stitched square and just a normal square they're really great basic dies to have to get really good layers without having to cut and measure everything just does it for you really um yeah so that's that one pretty simple and because this one's nice and thin i didn't need to make a box i just made an envelope used another one of the cutter parts and I used this largest die from the Ooh La La collection for a bit of a frame in the background. So they are my three cards to start off in June. I had great fun making them. Really love that paper. I've never had Julie Nutting paper before, but um, 
I think I might try and get some in the future because it's really very pretty great quality paper and quite easy to um, mix and match with things that you might already have in your stash too. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have a go at making them. Thank you.